Hello my friends, this is Jeb Adams. Welcome to the channel. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls of all ages, this is uh, a beginner video. All we're going to be doing today is checking out some of the oil holes and access points, screws, etc. on the top. We won't play with the piano keys or the the stitch lever levers today in particular. I'm not going to be sewing today. I will be doing some oiling, particularly here on the on the bed and on the top and around the back of the bed. There are a number of oil holes as you can see. There, there, there. One, two, three, four, five, six. So there are a number just on the bed itself. And then there are oil ports on the top, even where the screws hold the, the, the lid on. I really like this machine. I paid a lot of money for it. I paid $160 Canadian for it. It's the most money I've ever spent on a sewing machine. I call this one Mint Magic. It is very pretty. And we'll get started and we'll take a look at the oil holes and then we'll get the oil and get some lubrication going. All right, moving on, we'll start up top here. Here is one of the oil holes right there. There is another one here, and then one here, there's a screw hole, there's another oil hole, there's a screw hole, there's an oil hole. The top of this is a piece of cork, just like on the top of this hole and the top of this hole. And what those porous things are for is to, you put a drop or two of oil on that cork or whatever kind of substance it is, and it allows the oil to soak through slowly. It doesn't all just run right down inside the, bot the bottom of the top of the machine right away. Uh, as I've mentioned previously, we are going to do the screw holes because once we pull the screws out they have to be oiled anyway. Here is another oil hole in this air in this screw right here. So there's lots to oil. There's one there, there's one there, there's one there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then we have eight, nine, ten underneath the motor behind. So there's a lot on the bed. There's like 10 right down there and then you've got the ones on the top. So we'll give the oil a shake. I do have a few um, cotton swabs just to put a little bit of oil in and get into some places that I can see are a little bit grimy like these stitch levers. I'm going to oil them and, and that as well. And so we'll get started enough talking and there's remember to shake the oil it says to shake it so we've shook it and there's a couple of drops there 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 I'm going to put some right along the top of that and that there's one of those little sponges so we'll put some oil in there there's one of the screws for the top we'll put some in there another little sponge I call them sponges but they're they're not really that but see how that oil went in there real nice and then we got one there. So on the top we've already done, we'll do one here, there's an oil port. Maybe you can't kind of see that. There right for the for the winder. Anyway so we've got the top done, now we'll go down here And I may move the camera down lower for this part. Alrighty, we're repositioned. So we'll shake the oil again and we'll start with a drop there. There's one there with a little sponge. We'll put some oil in there. We'll put some there. Then we'll go over here and we'll do one, two, three, four, five, six, 
seven. Eight, nine, ten. So, and the other thing I'm going to do, and I'm going to need a little more light to, to show you this, but there are three holes right here to attach accessories. Like if you have a cloth, if you want a cloth guide, so your material just, you just push it, it stays lined up. These are screw holes for that. But these are all screw holes. Even if you don't put screws in them, they're there for oil. Um, I'm not going to start the argument, but you are going to see me put some oil in the holes for the accessories because they have threads and they get dirty and after decades they will fill up with dust anyway. There's one screw here. It's nice and loose. There's a second screw here. It's nice and loose. And then the third one is here, and I'm just undoing it. Now. So we'll take that one out, and we'll see if we can get this off. I've never taken this off before. So, it looks like, how do we do this? So you've got these levers here. So I'll pull them up. No, I think they have to be down. And then what is holding them? I think it's blocked by that actually. This may be a difficult, this may take more work to get this lid off than I thought. Let me see if I can do anything else here. Those will go up. I seem to be having some difficulty with that, don't I, my friends? But, oh well. What you can, what I can show you right here, this oil port here, that is where the oil actually goes down there. But we'll leave the lid on for now. There's another oil port right there. So it's good that we're playing around because I found another one. So we'll stop there for now and then I'll do some more examining. We'll move forward from here and we'll We'll continue taking a look at it. We'll take a break and let some of the oil soak in and then we'll get back to it.